know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing the oil, we recommend adding a pre-oil change cleaner to the used oil. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue. To reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for five minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. You can now see the drain nut. Start loosening the drain nut with a socket wrench and a 90mm socket. Then, finish it off by hand. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw, the oil can squirt suddenly. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, How to Make a Collector for Liquids. Since the oil is slightly warm, we recommend wearing gloves. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. On VAG Group vehicles, the O-ring doesn't come apart from the drain nut. We recommend replacing the oil nut with a new one every time you drain the oil. Reassemble by hand. Then finish off using a wrench without being overzealous. When you change the oil in your car, you must also replace the oil filter. To collect the oil from inside, place a container underneath the filter. In order to access the oil filter, it is necessary to remove the Turbo Command solenoid valve. First of all, move the duct that passes above the oil filter. Remove the holding screw from the holding lead on the solenoid valve using a Torx 27 screwdriver. Finally, release the solenoid valve so that it doesn't get in the way when removing the filter. You can now access the oil filter. Using a socket wrench, a long extender and a 32mm socket, free the oil filter by turning it anti-clockwise until it starts to turn easily. Finish off the process by hand. When it has been released, leave it to drip for a few moments and turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. With a large flathead screwdriver, lever off the paper cartridge to separate it from the flange. Now, with a thin flathead screwdriver, remove the rubber O-ring seal which is located under the flange washer and the two located on the end of the flange shaft. Start by cleaning the filter flange with brake clean fluid and a piece of tissue. Take the new filter. Replace the seals with those provided in the new filter box, taking care to properly oil the surface.
insert the new filter into the flange until you hear the click that says it has been locked into place. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. We screw the filter in place until it makes contact. To tighten it up, use a socket wrench, an extender and a 32mm socket. Careful! With this kind of oil filter, the new joint can be excessively thick, making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the metal engine frame. For this step, you can also use a dynamometric key that has been set to 25 Nm. Put the solenoid valve back, screwing the holding lead to begin with. And finish by clipping the hose in place. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, put the crankcase back in place, then lower your car back on the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Now, add the oil into the engine. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fuel plug, start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful never to go over it. Based on the level indicator on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.